Oh, good morning and welcome back to the Missouri farm. We are out in the field late last night. Until it was good and dark, I mean, pitch black, tough to see. Uh, harvesting sorghum across the road. I think it's sorghum. <laughs> Can't remember. Uh, and we also did a contract for drilling canola in this field back around behind the house. Uh, we finished that. And I don't know if I collected the money on camera or not, but that's why the money's up around 150000 was that, that contract back there paid really, really well. So I've got the the truck over here. And I think it's got the last grain tank off of the combine in it. the end of September we got rain in the forecast I'm not happy about that I want to get this harvest done before it rains um, let me pull up my tablet and check the weather here check my phone so it looks like it's going to start right around 9 o'clock and 9 till probably almost noon got rain the forecast for October also it's not great check the uh, used equipment while I have my phone oh my don't think we need another one that's nice though is that a forage Oh, it is. Wow. That'd be something. That would be 151, 148. That would be something. We can start chopping corn for silage, for example. That would be... That would be incredible. So let's just get across the way and see if we can get started here pretty soon.
this field really large. We got ways to go yet. I don't don't like having to drive the truck into the field, but I don't have myself a chaser bin yet, so it's kind of what we're going to have to do. Kind of head over here, just kind of position the truck more or less in the middle if I can. the back or off off the top and then we'll be ready to start we got yeah can't probably get up there <laughs> not like that load king one Okay, well, for instructional purposes, we're going to say that crop moisture is low enough that we can start harvesting right away this morning. I thought I did unfold it. Did I fold it? I guess I did. I thought it folded it up for the night. But I guess I didn't. I guess I shouldn't have hopped in it and assumed. Yeah, we're going to have a little ways to go here. I don't know if it would be better to watch me harvesting in the dawn than it was at night. I think you can see a little better. It was dark when we were doing it last night. Sometimes the game, when you come back into it and you're at night, it's not as dark as it was when you left. That's what happened to me when I uh, started the game today. I came back at the same time I quit last night. It was, it was light enough that I could see pretty clearly, actually. I was tempted to... Uh, start recording then, but it just wouldn't have flowed quite right, you know what I mean? Or I think maybe there's like an initial uh, time early in the evening where it's just pitch black and then it gets a little lighter as the moon comes out. I don't know. I thought we had the moon out uh, there in mid-September when we were doing it for a while, but then it got cloudy and overcast and it couldn't couldn't see too well. But we can see well enough that we can get going here this morning. We'll uh, enlist the help of a worker if we fill up the trailer and need to take it so that we can try and get this done before the rains come. Again, we just check the weather and it's expected around 9 o'clock. In October, corn should be ready to harvest. So we have our cornfield. 
then there's that neighboring cornfield. I gotta stop thinking about that forage harvester because I want to buy that cornfield on the corner, right? I don't know, that's tempting though. Something we would only use on our land though. whole lot of things we probably need to do first and it's nearly two hundred thousand dollars just for the used forager I haven't had a forage harvester like that since FS19 and six ashes got anywhere near where I got in six ashes in terms of money since I've been playing FS22. I think it's because he used equipment. <laughs> I think that might be it. Because I just buy used equipment. I don't know, but on six ashes I had a ton of equipment. I think my slot count on the PS4 in uh, FS19 was pretty close to maxed out. But I couldn't really buy anything without getting rid of something. That's interesting. I mean, my I, that save game is still on my PS4. Could actually probably go back into it, but I never really ended that series. I kind of had to step away from it because I was away from home for extended periods of time. Which is why I got the uh, got the other PS4. But yeah, that save game's still on that. I could probably go back and visit it. I know that I have uh, unedited raw footage, video clips that were intended to be, you know, made into an episode. But yeah, it just sort of abruptly ended. I have no idea what was happening in it at the time that I stopped. <laughs> or even where I was going with it. Alright, we're almost full with our first grand tank on the combine here. There it is. truck around. Wish I had a chaser. <laughs> it's alright. Maybe someday. Ah, there it is. Alright, well, let's do like a figure eight. far enough. I'll like sweep in here and get it. There we go. I think I'm under it. Am I too far out? Yep.
that's one of the things on this game that having depth perception is difficult sometimes. <laughs> better the more I use it though. Get more of a feel for it. Okay, so we still got some left, so we'll have to put it in the back hopper. We'll back up a little bit here. So arguably this, uh, this next grain tank on the combine should mostly fill it. I mean, you'd probably just do a quick run and top it off. Then I'll hire a worker and take that into the uh, cell point delivery location for this contract. Probably might as well just go ahead and start time lapse here. We'll get this field done. Hopefully before it rains. It's almost seven. It gives us two more hours. It might be close.
Okay, just after 8.15, and we've got all the crop off the field, so we have successfully beat the rain, which is a bit of a relief. I'm going to put this in the back uh, hopper on the trailer. That way the weight's a little more evenly distributed. i got a full grain tank in the front hopper. a little farther than I anticipate. I guess we... The, uh... Discharge will accommodate a larger header than what we have, so we'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> we have the opportunity to get something a little larger, which would be nice on this on this map with these somewhat larger fields. I don't want to leave it all the way up here. I also don't want to walk all the way back to the... I'm going to walk at some point. I guess there's no getting around that. and paying attention I missed the fact that there's another probably could have drove across that but all right we'll park the combine here be a little easier to get to not a walk oh it's way over there I'll see you at the truck I know it took me less than a minute to walk over here, but cutting that out might make a difference later on. <laughs> Get the cover on here. Okay. I don't know. Did it get up? Contract is 80% complete notification. It should be given that everything's off the field. So we'll go deliver this, we'll be able to collect on it, and then we'll be ready to start thinking about the next thing, uh, which I'm not quite sure what it is. We could... work on the uh, field that we had the weed in. I believe it needs to be plowed just as you know, things tend to do when you start a new save game. A lot of times your fields need everything. Uh, so I think it needs to be plowed. It also needs to be mulched after that wheat. So I got an idea for an uh, implement that will help with that. our speed up here. There we go. 50. Might be okay down these gravel roads. You know, the thing about driving fast down gravel roads, sometimes your wheel, you get wheel hop, and it sets up kind of like, a, I don't know, if it harmonics the right word I'm trying to think of. Uh, same reason that when you're marching you go to route step when you cross like a bridge or something like that because yeah. Anyway, wheel hop. Putting washboard in the gravel road. We don't want to do that. So we're not whoa. Uh, I'm going to pay for that one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, 
that's frustrating. <sighs> Pretty mad at myself right now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we got left than less than half a trailer full here. But should be enough to complete the contract, I think. Oh, it's probably a little fast. Get down in town. Get our weight here. What is it? 28.528. Is that a decimal seven? I think I got both uh, discharges. Yeah, It'll be fine. Okay, contract complete. Money's going up. Got uh, almost five thousand out of the front hopper. Probably get another five thousand out of the back. What do you think? Nope. Almost four. So we probably got eight, eight, nine thousand. Why don't we collect on the contract while we're right here? Well, you can see in the corner. Eat. There we go. $12,260. So we're up around one seventy. So we could afford that uh, forager. I'm not going to do it. Oh, we need to get an empty weight, don't we? Might have jumped the gun a little on uh, collecting since we hadn't gotten the empty weight yet. But I can't see it. Can I see it in the mirror? Oh, there we go. Eight six one five. Sorry, I'll head back to the house and probably try and be a little more cognizant of our uh, driving our truck. Still got to get that John Deere A from the store back to the house. I'm not quite sure how to do that. We'll either have to wait till we get a low loader or something, or uh, we got time to drive it home at a very slow speed. <laughs> Don't want to do it in the rain. It's supposed to start raining here pretty quick. Hmm. Don't see the street sign there. I'll see you back at the farm. Well, it's just now turning nine o'clock. I don't I think I'm okay on the <laughs> the way I put the uh, trailer on. I'm not sure. Uh, rain started uh, almost on cue a few minutes before nine. We're going to put the combine away. The truck's already parked in the building.
Hmm. That's where it doesn't want to move. Why is that? Maybe it's too close. So back it up more. There we go. Well, let me close it while I'm here. Okay, that's better. I guess that was it. Back this into the building here and we'll get the combine in out of the rain too. Of course, kind of like a free uh, little wash. Depth perception's off a little bit. Don't want to get into the wall though. I also don't want to hit the. Uh, Hit the corn header back here. That's that's good. Get the combine put away. Oh, I got dual front tires on this. Let me <laughs> let me go third person so I don't make a horrible mistake. There we go. That's, that's a way. <sighs> I'm going to pop in the house a second. I'm still agonizing over this uh, forager because it's like half price. When are you going to get a chance to do that? Of course, it changes everything. It's way too early for me to be thinking getting a forager. So yeah, here's the problem. So oh man, it's so nice. 62% off. 170,000. Which is everything that we have right now. It can't do it. I just can't. So at the same time we're wrestling with that decision, this field over here is the one that we want to buy. And it is 141,000. I'd leave us with about 30. And I want to check and see, is it like, oh, wow, it's not as ready as our cornfield. So it's going to, it's like a gross state behind. It may not be ready until November. Hmm. But it is fully fertilized. Our field will need plowing. Let me turn off the plowing. It also needs lime. And it's not fertilized at all. Wow. So lime, what are we going to do about lime? 
so I'm in the store menu here. Here's what I'm thinking about doing. I think it's under plows. Uh, the John Deere mulch tiller. That's 17,000. And we want to get triangle on the back. Triangle end stickers. Um, weights. Yes. And then we want the most number of shanks that we can get. It's now $25,000. Yikes. Okay. And then in addition to that, we need uh, something to spread lime. So we could rent this for how much? 2300 Then we'd have to get the lime on top of that. And it holds 9000 at a time. <sighs> Boy. It's a lot. That's a lot to think about, a lot to process. But that's what we got to do. So we need to lime our field that we took the weed out of. We also need to mulch it and plow it. And then try and have enough money to buy that other field. But we maybe have a month reprieve given this growth state. So maybe we can do the things that we need to do ahead of time. and still have the money we need to buy the field. I think so. I think that's what we can try and do. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the case here, drop the weight and I'll go into town and, and buy the mulch tiller. Bring it back and do that while it's raining still. And then maybe... After... Uh, I do not like the fact that, that that CSZ alternate view for the forks just annoys me to no end. <laughs> All right, so we're going to run into town. I don't know if this is my fastest tractor, but we're going to take this one. We're going to run into town. We're going to buy that mulch tiller. Get it back here, and then we'll start thinking about uh, going back into town to lease a uh, a spreader. Man, it's gonna, not going to be fun to have to go back to town to refill it, though. There's so much equipment I wish I had, and I don't. like to have like that little uh, tender trailer that would come in handy put lime in seed in fertilizer in be nice to have a uh, like a smooth wall bin at the farm that we could keep lime in the thought do we need to lime it now. Maybe not, because ideally we'd want to just rent that one time. So we don't want to piecemeal rent it and just do one field, do we? I'm sitting here talking myself out of it on the way into town.
do love the town of Alma. All right, we just spent the nearly $25,000 for the mulch tiller. Thing is, it gives you a plowed state and it also mulches, so uh, it's a really good piece of gear. Uh, put out by Rooster Mods. <clears throat> he has really nice stuff. So we'll get this back out to the farm. I don't think it folds at all. everything up. There we go. Probably better have the beacon on then. So we're going to take up a significant portion of the roadway to get this home. Okay, we're riding back at the farm now with our new mulch tiller. So what this will do is this will mulch and plow at the same time. Which is really nice. Let's see, where can we put it for now? here I'll go put my weight back on put this away and then we'll probably end up waiting out the rain we'll think about what we what we can do next which may be working in our uh, wheat field and plowing it I don't know I gotta think about it You know, in October, we're going to probably be doing the corn harvest on our cornfield and hopefully maybe pick up a contract to do one for somebody else. Get our money up. We may buy that field just to ensure we get it, but I think it's not going to be ready to harvest until November. But I guess that's a dangerous proposition to continue to wait on that. We're going to head into the house, wait out the rain. We have been waiting here on the porch for the rain to stop. I see the icon has gone away, which means that it should be stopping within the next few minutes. Uh, yeah, I've kind of been patiently waiting so that we can get out and start working in the fields again. Uh, with free time on my hands, I was taking a look at the contracts available and I guess I should have maybe paid more attention before I put everything away. But there's another sorghum field right across the road. Uh, so we're going to do that also. But first things first, I'm going to get in our wheat field and work on getting that field plowed and taken care of. And then maybe with... Uh, 
creative help from the AI workers. Uh, hopefully we'll get to uh, the contract as well. It's not very much. It only pays, I think, around four or five thousand dollars. Maybe, you know, half again as much for any excess crop we might get off of it. But, you know, that's four or five thousand dollars. I mean, we were looking at spending everything that we had just to get that uh, forager potentially. Uh, but I have reconsidered. I've completely eliminated it as a possibility. Uh, part of the reason being that this map has swathing. And I believe I do have the swather pack uh, installed. And that's something that I would be more interested in getting. I've used forage harvesters before. I've never used the... Uh, the swather and that would work for you know the alfalfa field uh, as well as a lot of other things so that's kind of what what my thinking is on that right now while we're waiting for the rain to stop <laughs> I don't know why it has it yet the icon the icon went away it's supposed to only be cloudy now We'll start walking over towards the building and uh, get ready to go out and maybe start working in the field. So we got the John Deere 4755, which I think is going to be our tractor of choice to use with the uh, mulch tiller. It's got the right horsepower to operate the uh, larger 13 shank version, I think it is, that we got. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can. I know we're not going to make short work of that field because it is a really large field, but uh, we, should, we should be able to get it done in a reasonable amount of time. I'm hoping to get everything done while we still have daylight today. I know I won't be able to include it all in this episode because we're already probably up around, what, 50 minutes maybe? No idea. The more I run my mouth up more time gets in so we'll probably get a short time lapse in as we start to work in the field just wanted to let everybody know if you haven't been watching from the beginning we did buy this uh front end look this telehandler used uh when it became available and we got pallet forks for it so we have it here on the farm it's parked over here in the horse stables I don't know why the rain's not stopping. We gotta go put the implement on the back of the tractor. Maybe that'll help get it to stop because the more I walk around and run my mouth as the rain ends, the less time we're gonna have to do anything else. And that was my intention. I was expecting the rain to stop as pretty much as soon as I uh, started recording this clip. I guess we could start plowing in the rain. It really wouldn't matter. Very well may do that. It's supposed to stop. <laughs> Thank you. Finally stopped raining. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how that happens. So I think there is something we have to do to start operating it. I think it's got like an unfold thing that changes something on here. So we'll. I'll head out to the field and we'll see if we can figure it out. I'm not really going to have much time for a time lapse, I don't think.
Right now, if I remember correctly, with this particular implement, there is something you need to do to unfold. There it is. And then it'll work. So we should be able to just drop it down and start going. We're going to bring up stones. Oh, we're also going to take the grass out at the edge of the field. I do not have create fields on, do I? I don't think so. I do not. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Just want to get all the way over to the edge, that's all. I'm not doing a very good job of it, am I? Shouldn't worry about the grass on the edge. I need to get it all plowed up. <laughs> I'm not like... Uh, what was it Mr. Sealy P? He came out and he like expanded the size of the fields and everything. He just doesn't leave himself any room to turn around and stuff. I know that, you know, just putting one more uh, implement width around the circumference of this field is probably pretty sizable, pretty significant, but I don't know. I think you just create problems for yourself later on. It's kind of gaming the game aspect of it rather than the simulation yeah as much as I'd like to say I'm going to put a time lapse in I don't think I'm going to have time for it and that's really unfortunate <laughs> Not how I wanted to end this. What do I come back and continue this in the next episode? Is that what you want me to do? I don't know. Or do we want to progress? I think we want to progress. I'll, I, I'll make a deal with you. I will ensure that next time I use this you get to see me doing it the whole time. Does that sound fair? Does that make sense? I remember I played with this on uh, PS4 when I was playing around and I did it strictly back and forth across the field and turned around. I think I'm going to do that so that it's got nice straight furrows I'm remembering that now so rather than going around the outside I'm going to just go back and forth apologize for that anyway um, I want to thank you for hanging out with me here at the Missouri farm. And uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you don't subscribe yet, why not? It don't cost nothing. See you next time. Station.